Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Mariah and I hope you're all doing well. Guys, I have a quick video of an unboxing today from Enablers Outpost. Um, these are not pins that I purchased from any of their drops. These are actually my blanks that I have unboxed on my channel. Um, there was a custom spot finally opened and I was able to send her my blanks and I did tell them that I had no specific um, shape. It didn't matter to me, to be honest. I just wanted them turned. And I feel like, I think the whole process for me sending Elizabeth my blanks, them turning them and sending them back was less than two weeks. Um, I've been holding this box for a little while, but I really like, you guys, I wanna see how these turned out. I'm super excited. Um, I will have the names of the blanks listed down below and where I got them from as well as enablers outpost information too. Okay, um, this is one of her new packagings. They're doing boxes. Um, she did do a video. There's her stamp right there, it's cute. And I thank you for your order. Uh, she did do a video and said that she was doing the boxes inside out so some are wonky. I can't tell but I don't think mine is. If it is, it still looks good. Like, you can't really tell. But let's get into it, guys. I'm so excited to see these blanks. Okay. So excited. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hello and welcome to all of my new subscribers. Um, just to let everybody know that's new here, currently I'm doing about one video a week. Um, sometimes more. I have, oh look, that's cute. I have recently started an Etsy shop. Uh, my shop information will be listed down below as well. Um, but I am currently trying to manage my time. So my channel is currently getting at least one video a week just to set your expectations. All right, guys, let's get into the box. Okay. Here we go. The packaging looks good. Okay, so she always has the organza bag and then she's got her little, this is their little trademark here. Their little enablers uh, outpost tag. And I imagine if you order enough and collect the different colors, you could probably make these into cover minders. I think she should make these into cover minders and put them in her shop. Okay, but it's just a cute little personal touch. Okay, so in this pretty organza bag, you're going to get their business card. Enablers Outpost. It's got their um, Etsy shop and their Facebook group. If you're part of their Facebook group, uh, and a little hand thank you on the back. From Elizabeth and Edward if you're part of their Facebook group they give you little heads up and hints and uh, sneak peeks to what they're gonna drop and when they're gonna drop in their Etsy shop all right little cat and robot sticker that's cute I got a sucker this is a charms if I can get it out of the bag matches my nails ooh is it cotton candy yes cotton candy little sucker treat okay and she gave me tips um i think she did ask me yes she did she asked me what kind of tips i wanted and i told her i didn't care like four place or i think here's the other candy i'm trying to i'm like throwing it off to the side because i'm trying to <laughs> i just want to see these pins okay so she gave me a variety so i got the single i do have three three pins so she gave me three single blank or I got my blanks on my mind. Three single tips. I've got a, what one is this? Okay, a three placer, a four placer, and what is this one? A 15. That's a big one. 
but it gives me one to practice with. Okay, so here are my tips. They do not um, put the tips in their pins prior to sh shipping. You have to do that on your own, which is smart. That way you don't have to worry about the, the tip or anything breaking while it's being shipped. Okay, so here's the bag. I'm so excited. Okay, ready? Okay, let's flip it over. Oh, shoot, I thought it was gonna show on the other side. Okay, I'm feeling them. Okay, okay. Let's see what Edward did. Okay, I hope, my hope, I just told them, whatever you can do, I just want them to be sparkly. So whatever kind of turning you need to do to make them sparkly, that's all I wanted. Okay, so they're all packaged nicely in this rainbow mailer or not mailer but thing. oh look oh she stamped her okay look branded she stamps her tissue i like that how do you do it round oh she probably stamped it before she put it on the paper sometimes my mind slips guys actually almost all the time sorry so all three of them okay let's go with this one first So excited. Okay. Okay. I know which one this one is. Here we go. Oh, it looks good. And I don't even have a light over here. Okay, okay. I mean, I have a light I can turn on, but I don't think I need to. It feels good. It looks good. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, Edward did a good job. Okay, guys. Look at it. The shape is perfect. The size is good. It's not as fat as my pickle pen. Um, it's it's chubby. It's a little chubbier than a like one of the chubby DAC pens, but not like not. It's just because of the shape, I think. But it feels very very good. Okay, so this blank was um, a limited edition it was called maypole and this was from Beartooth woods this blank was look at it it's got so many colors it's like a rainbow pin um, of course it has big chunks of glitter he did really good good job again i didn't have any requests other than i just wanted them to give it a shape that was going to make the sparkle come out. Wow. And again, all these blanks, um, I will leave down as well as enablers outpost information down in the video description. You guys, so pretty. Okay, let's move on so I can see these other ones. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. Oh, okay. I know which one this is. Okay, guys. This one is going to be my blank. The bl uh, It was Magic Wand. Of course. Of course I would get one that says Magic Wand. Um, and this one also comes from Beartooth Woods. Let's see how this one turns out. Of course, it's glittery. There we go. Oh, look. Oh, that's just the... Sometimes, guys, it's going to have residue on the inside. You just tap it and knock it out. But here we go. So this one is just basically black and, of course, glittery. It's a different shape than the other one. However, it, it's about the same thickness. It's sparkly. Edward did a good job on this one, too. It feels very smooth. All the pins are smooth that I get from Enablers Outpost. I like this style. And again, just whatever was going to make it sparkle. But he did good. It's like a disco ball. 
pretty. Okay, so that's pin number two. And this final pin, this one feels thinner than the other two. This one was my round one. These two were my square blanks from Beartooth Woods. And this was my round blank from, um, what's it called? Rapture. Is it Rapture blanks? Or I'll have the information down below. Rap uh, Rapture resins, or I can't remember. I know it's from Rapture. And this one was the Angel Wings one. But this was a round cylinder, and I think that when you get the round cylinders, they make for thinner pins. They can't go as thick, which is fine. I like to have a variety. Ooh, again, another glitter, of course. I'm all about the glitter. So this one is the Angel Wings, I believe it was. Ooh, look, whole nother style. And this one has stuff like the round, uh, big glitter chunks. This one has the, almost like the little foil flakes in it. Very pretty. Whole different style. He did really good with this one too. This one is probably the size of a DAC chunky pen. One of their thicker pens. That's about this size right here. Here we go. Good job, nice and smooth. I don't feel any of the, the flakes of the glitter or anything. Let me get this Marleyish. Sorry guys, I don't know why my cat is being a weirdo. Okay, so let me show you again. So we have this one, move everything out of the way. We have this one. Then we have this one, glitter, but see how this glitter is more round. This one's more abnormal shape because it's foil. And then my third pen, which has multiple colors and of course, big flux of glitter. So here we go, guys. Here are my three um, pens from Enablers Outpost. Um, great customer service, like I said. Um, between me sending the blanks, um, communicating with her on what I wanted and them turning the blanks and sending them back, it was less than two weeks. I think it was $30 a pen to turn, if I can remember. But here we go. Very pretty. Can't wait to use them. All right, guys. Hope everybody has a great day. Don't forget all the information as well as Enablers Outpost links will be listed down below. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.